How exactly will the adoption of SDN and NFE help CSPs become DSPs, digital service providers, as they look to reduce their commercial reliance on basic connectivity services? What results are we seeing so far? And is there evidence that this transformation is actually working? Yeah, I mean, we believe um, for us that integration starts at the connectivity layer. Uh, and, and this is important because we know in this you know, next new age, everything is about connectivity. But on top of that, we have to build platforms to orchestrate that layer. We have to be able to provide end-to-end -end visibility to ourselves and to our customers about what's happening. And we have to be able to provide closed loop service assurance so we can guarantee the performance of an application at any point in time. The next and top layer of that is the application uh, or the microservices that have to come together to deliver an application experience and ultimately that's the goal or the nirvana. It's not to necessarily just build the network, it's to deliver that seamless end-to-end -end connection uh, between all the threads that are necessary to deliver an end-user business outcome. At the end of the day, we're moving to a digital world. So we really would like to see more uh, talk about uh, software innovation uh, while keeping the infrastructure simple. And for that to happen, we really need to look at how do we standardize the infrastructure and make it optimal to be for the workload. But the focus really should be how do we build intelligence into the software so we have proper software uh, cloud native deployments that we could use to scale out our infrastructure and deliver better automation and better service to our customers. And there is also a, a cultural gap that you can consider because uh, mm, when you see network engineers that are used uh, to work with the hardware and software together, configuration of this hardware and software, and uh, specialized in uh, very uh, uh, specific technologies such as IP protocols and so on, their know-how is quite different from the know-how of software developers uh, from uh, IT people. And this is something you find in, in our organization uh, in, in the discussion between network engineers uh, and uh, IT developers. So introducing SDN technologies that makes uh, the network more software friendly enables uh, to close this gap. And this is uh, another of the main purpose of, the, of what we are doing for introducing automation. So we must mix the ecosystems or leverage both ecosystems, the one from the telcos and the one from the uh, cloud providers, to be able, from the customer standpoint, to have this end-to-end -end service, either in the domestic market or cross-border, uh, leveraging or aggregating multiple operators, multiple service providers. It's uh, this way we will be able to serve the on-demand promise. And what we are convinced about in Orange also is that it will be done if we are combining the technologies and of course the, in the offers or the services coming from the 5G, from the on-demand networks and uh, of course with the SDN and FV uh, technology embedded and the edge computing. Our customers are demanding that we have a network that um, is quicker and faster. The only way to achieve that speed is in software. You know, we talk about moving at the speed of software. So we have to turn the network into a software definable, a software and agile um, beast um, um, that's not tethered to the, its, uh, its platform, its architecture underneath. Um, so NFV is you know, the, the, the main stepping stone to, to doing that. Um, cloud native is, if you like, the, the enhancement of that so that it's even more agile and more um, uh, uh, portable and, uh, and can scale and all those attributes that everybody knows. NFV at the moment um, is the first stepping stone to turning network functions into code to get the agility um, that customers need. So SDN is, is basically giving us this uh, control in the network, this programmability that allow us to deliver Ethernet on demand, uh, allow us to deliver SD1, for instance. Uh, so that's, that's the first part of the strategy, right? Connectivity on demand, basic connectivity on demand. The, the second one is NFB. NFB brings uh, the possibility of uh, delivering services on top of connectivity that can also be delivered in the same model. Uh, real time, uh, full customer control, and that's only possible with uh, software type of functionality. So, so that's uh, NFB uh, really 
building building on top of connectivity on demand.